I think I'm the only one from Syria. I'm half Syrian, I'm half Lebanese. And I totally agree with Corey. And I've worked very closely with the refugees. And for two, the two gentlemen who advocate that not to interference, what do you suggest how to end this? Let Assad kill another million, a half a million, and to now half of this population is refugee. till so all the population is a refugee. And I'll tell you something from working very closely with refugees. The reason we have ISIS is because the America didn't intervene. When Hezbollah and the Shia militias and the Assad, they went and raped 11 years old, and they destroy mosque and put the banner of Yah Hussein. This was okay. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to step in to, to actually take to take your comment to to the point of what we're debating. And what I want to do with your question, if it's if you're fine with that, is is take it to the ISIS question. Unintended consequences. They're saying the unintended con she was saying the unintended consequences go in the other direction. That ISIS is there because Syria fell apart because there was not earlier intervention. Uh, ISIS Frankly. is there because the Iraqi government, which is was at the time pretty much extra legal, supported and sustained Shia militias who were murdering Sunnis at this much the same rate that ISIS murdered Shias. And I don't think there's too much controversy about that. And that's an offshoot of the Iraq war. And by the way, uh, I myself used to see the conditions in which we kept some of those prisoners down in uh, Umm Qasr uh, prison camp. That's the source of ISIS. It has nothing to do with whether or not we did no. or did not intervene Corey. back in 2013. Okay. Let's let Corey Shockey, would you like to respond as well? You don't have to, but I want to give the, the crack at it. Uh, it certainly is true that the decisions that the United States and other uh, intervening powers in Iraq made, uh, both the decision to invade Iraq and then the decision to leave Iraq in 2011, facilitated the rise of ISIS. There's no question about that. But it, it's also a lesson about what solves these problems, right? Because the, if, you th if you think about the Iraq case, if the United, when the United States and other countries cared about good governance, helped establish an environment where uh, Iraqis felt secure, they were beginning to make brave political choices. In the parliamentary elections in 2010, for example, all the major slates were cross-sectarian. So you can see how this works when it works, but you can also see how it fails. This with is, this too is little Kim local stuff, knowledge, Corey. with too much hubris with too little commitment, with too little caring about solving the underlying political problems is how these fail.